So in this video, I'm going to talk about the Samsung controller and using this controller here as the room thermostat and time clock. So you can see on the screen here, it says 16 degrees. So this is the set temperature for your heating. And all you need to do is wake it up and then you can change the temperature. So let's say we set it up to 19 degrees. What it will now do is heat this um, house to 19 degrees C and um, hold it at that temperature. But the clever thing about using this controller is that in the bottom here is a sensor. So what the unit will do is it looks at the outdoor temperature, decides how hot to make the radiators, and as the room comes up towards this 19 degrees, it actually revs the heat pump down, getting the best efficiency out of it, giving you exactly the right water temperature for your house to meet this temperature. So this is the most efficient way to run your unit, but the drawback is you only have one of these controllers and this is controlling the whole house. So we use this on systems which we call open systems. So an open system is where you have your radiators in the house, but you don't have any TRVs or radiator valves connected. So when this goes on and it starts heating, every radiator in the house will get hot. What you can do is put a TRV or radiator valve on the bedrooms or a couple of the radiators, but the vast majority of them do need to be controlled um, and just open. So it's nice, it's the cheapest way to install the system because you need less hardware, but this is the only controller you can use. The other disadvantage, of course, is that you can't control this over the internet. So this is controlled by you here in the house um, and there's no internet enable um, without buying some extra hardware. 